the changing face of Tulsa Public Schools. Two new board members were elected to the board this week, with a third board member securing his seat once again. This all comes following a tumultuous time for the district that escaped having its accreditation revoked in August. News Channel 8 CJ Macklin joins us now. And CJ, the new, new board members are very much focused on moving forward. They are. I caught up with John Croissant, who knocked on over 5,000 doors in the city of Tulsa for his campaign for re election. With 77% of those votes, he plans on focusing on student outcome and to fight for local control. This was definitely two things. One, that they want to see us focusing on student outcomes and not um, being attacked by Ryan Walters. John Croissant is in his second term now as the Tulsa Public School member after being re-elected on April 2nd. Croissant was also elected with Sarah Smith and Calvin Monice. Coincidentally, all three board members are also alumni of Tulsa University. Croissant says the voters sent the message to Walters that they want local control of TPS. The people of Tulsa want to be able to elect their board members, and they don't want people politicizing schools. Schools should be for all students, and we need to leave the politics somewhere else not in education. Last spring, TPS had 16 schools come off the failing list, and TPS just created a program that pays teachers additional money to help other classes across the district. Croissant admits they are not in the place they want to be, but they are working their way towards where they need to be, and he says Dr. Ebony Johnson has been the perfect candidate to catapult them to do so. Dr. Johnson and the TPS board president also chimed in on the board members who will be representing the district moving forward. I'm super excited. I am proud of all of the effort that went into getting us to a place where our candidates were featured. People knew all of the candidates and all of the backgrounds. It's an exciting time to move forward in education. They will all be sworn in at the next regular meeting of the board, which is the 15th, I believe, Monday the 15th. The people of Tulsa told us um, over the last, well, this year for sure, and, and last year as well, that they believe in the work that we're doing as a board, and they want to continue to work in the direction that our board is working. Both Croissant and Woolley say that Dr. Ebony Johnson is the right person for the job, and they knew that months prior even to her hiring. And Woolley also tells me that their accreditation is going to be fine, and that other schools are going to look to them as a model if they're in a situation like theirs. Live at Tulsa Public Schools, I'm C.J. Macklin, Ocean Wheat.